What's wrong, Rio? It's my mother again. When will she understand that I don't want what she expects from me? I don't give a damn if I'm a princess. I never asked for all this responsibility. I just... I don't know. I don't really care about healing. I'm no good at it anyway. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Never mind that now though. You've been stuck in that cave for hours. You don't think she'd care if you came on a hunting trip with us, do you? Zane and I have been given three days to catch a big meal for the pack. You could come with us if you'd like. Considering two isn't a very big number. I mean, if it's okay with your mom. We just had a huge argument. I don't think she wants to see me right now. Great. You really need to get out of camp. But Zara, a queen of the pack of falling ash is chosen to heal. The sole responsibility placed on her shoulders passed down from thousands of generations. <laughs> You're way better at delivering a killing bite. What's the harm in you helping us find food instead of sitting here sulking? Come on! The Impala herd is only a few kilometers away. You coming, bro? Your mama needs to lighten up. Dogs of the pack of Bright Meadows. We are gathered here to bear witness to a tragic event that took place this morning. Our Mambo, our King, Mosey, has been brutally murdered. There were no witnesses, but Leali has been found alone at the scene. And Zola, you are thoroughly convinced that there is no other possible explanation. You're sure that Leali, Moses, and your daughter, our future queen, is the one responsible for this tragedy. Simply because she carried the only scent at the scene. Check the river for yourself. There's nothing there. My daughter has murdered her father to rank up. She has always wanted to be like me. I see no reason for Liali to want her father dead. She loved him. Maybe even more so than you or I. I had talked with her this morning before she left to meet Mosey at the river. She never loved him as much as I did. <laughs> that traitorous snake. Her motivations were unjustified. But perhaps it's because she has something wrong with her. What are you talking about? In her head. My daughter is cursed with a dreamwalker. How could you possibly know that? I am her mother. Obviously, I would know. Days and days complaining about voices in her head. Ever since she was a pup. I guess she finally gave in to the nightmares. I will not hide it anymore. I have tried my best to help her overcome it, and raise her as best as I could. My only daughter. And it was all a waste. This darkness inside her was just growing, consuming her until she's an empty shell. She's dangerous, meadow dogs. Do not believe in her lies. You are the liar here! Duna, please hear me out. I had no intention to- <laughs> Silence yourself! No, Zola. Layali needs to tell us for herself. Are you cursed with a dreamwalker? Yes. 
We can't let her stay here. She's dangerous. How many more of us will she endanger so a Dreamwalker can get what it wants? She can't be trusted. We're not safe with her here. Silence! Duna, you and I are the last of the royal family. If you don't count my disgrace of a daughter here, what do you think we should do? We need to put the safety of our pack above all else. Dreamwalkers have plagued our pack in the past for countless generations. They were thought to be extinct with the death of one of our previous packmates, the last victim to report of his nightmares and dangerous habits. But now, we know that is not the case. They still exist, and are among us once again. Now that we know the truth, I don't see how Leali could possibly fulfill her duty as our future queen. She puts our lives at risk, especially considering she has already killed one of our own. I did not! Then prove it. Find the evidence you need. Search for anything. I don't care. Until you find the true killer and put this all to rest, you are banished. Until then, you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> Stop searching. I'll return to my home and prove my mother wrong. And when I find the true killer, you will what? Kill them? Sink to the rock, dirty level? Wouldn't your daddy be proud of you? You! You are the cause of all this! If my mother hadn't known about you, she would have had no excuse to banish me at all. Duna would never have believed her otherwise. Why did she want me out so badly? Oh sure, blame everything on me. The friend who has been there for you thick and thin since you were a pot. Who knows, maybe Zola's dreamwalker messed with her head and she has some sort of demon. It's pretty fun, you know, messing with heads. And don't get me wrong though, I've been very vicious to you. I would never do such a thing to my little buddy. My mother has a dreamwalker too? Obviously. Why else would she be so quick to judge her only daughter? So that's why she was so hostile to me. I mean, I would be too if I found my mate dead with no explanation. I don't blame her at all for freaking out. You have been pretty shifty lately. Shut up already! And what are you going to do if you do find the real killer? You've barely had any fighting experience considering you've just been a spoiled brat most of your life. Your dad has been too soft on you. He hated violence, and you definitely, definitely desire revenge, don't you? I will kill if I must. There's no way I can let my mother get away with this. Oh, but she already has. Her dream walk has full influence over her, Echo. Do not underestimate this way out. You're never going back home. Your head is full of nothing but the desire for revenge. You'll just be made to look like the monster they all know you are. What do you know? Go away, damn it. I don't need to hear this from you. I'll figure something out on my own. I'm sorry, Zola. I cannot imagine how upset you must have felt seeing your daughter next to Moses' cold, dead body. But I must ask, how could you jump to such a conclusion so quickly? That your daughter is the one who killed him. 
Surely even her dreamwalker could not cause her to do such a drastic thing to someone so beloved to her. There is no way someone else could have done this. She was covered in Mossy's blood. His throat was shredded by dog's teeth. And if it were another dog, you would have noticed their presence. Banishing my daughter was the worst thing I could have done in my life. When her siblings joined the spirits during my pregnancy, Leal and Mosi became my only world. But now, both of them are gone as well. And I have nothing. You still have your pack. Lead them with me. We are the last of the Meadow Kings and Queens. And although you and I are not related by blood or marriage, we shall rule the pack of Bright Meadows, as we always have. It's time to move on. We all believe in you, Zola. <laughs>